It literally feels like a ghost town over here. Yo, you will never find this place this empty. Guys, I may have just discovered a possible murder weapon using a giant magnet here in Niagara Falls. I'm Mo Sargent. That's how we do it. I travel the world to seek out haunted and abandoned places to document the unknown for your entertainment needs. Go, go, go. Careful. From abandoned ghost towns to, hide right now. to being locked up in the basement of haunted mansions. Those ghosts, your spirits, would tell her, build this, build this. To fighting for my survival on deserted islands. And when I'm not pissing off demons in haunted mental asylums, I'm exploring underwater caves and using giant magnets to find treasures. Ah, we lost the no! Subscribe to my crazy life to become a part of the adventures. Yo, top, my boy. Live a little. What's up, guys? I'm Osarji. Welcome back to another video. It's really loud here, and that's because we are at Niagara Falls, Ontario. Today, I'm going to be doing a magnet fishing video where I take a long rope, a really big magnet, throw it into the water, and try to fish out treasures for you guys. Smash the like button. This has never been done before, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get anything out of the water. But let's find out. Follow me on TikTok. TikTok link is down below. And follow me on Instagram at Mo Sargent. Let's get on with this adventure. So I decided to take this opportunity to do a magnet fishing video today because there's literally nobody in Niagara because of the whole quarantine. Six feet away, bro. Six feet away. Oh, no, no, keep going. Keep, yep, yep, that's good right there. And the fact that there's nobody here, usually this place is a tourist trap. I hate coming here because it's always so damn busy. But today, there is nobody here. And that's why we're gonna be doing some magnet fishing. There is a ship over there, if you guys can see right there. That's a crashed ship that hasn't moved in like almost 50 years or 100 years. And recently, this ship moved. I think it like was over there. And then somehow it moved over there because of the current. As you guys can see, the falls are over there. That's where they drop down. So we are in Niagara Falls on the Canadian side. That's the American side, the Buffalo side. But down here in this kind of calmer water, I mean, it's not, not that calm. Hopefully we can find something down there. I don't know, people throw things in here all the time. There has been a lot of crashed ships in the area over like, you know, history. So you never know, we might actually find something good here. I'm very excited about this. Let's take out that magnet and let's see what we can find. So I'm tying my rope to the fence because the current here is super strong and I don't want to accidentally lose my only rope. I'm not from around here. I live six hours away from here. So also I'm hoping the cops don't come and get us in trouble for being here because I mean, we're, we technically, but he lives at my place, so. All right guys, you're gonna have to excuse the audio. I know it's very loud here and it is really windy, but we're dealing with what we can deal with right now. So let's go. I'm about to be the first person to throw a big magnet in Niagara Falls, probably in history. Like, this is literally history right here. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy I tied to this Yeah, fence. that went far. I wonder how deep it is over here. Oh, I can feel it hitting the ground. It definitely hit the bottom. And it's dragging. Man, that current is strong. It's my heavy magnet is being pulled by this. Imagine us. Alright, pulling it back up. Pulling it back up. Dude, look at this. Look at that magnet. Look at how the current is pulling it. I don't even know if we caught it. Oh, we just did the duck match. I'm going to keep it here, I'm going to throw it right in here on this spot and we're going to see how far it goes down. Yeah, look, the current is literally taking it. Oh my god, that's... It hasn't even made it to the bottom, it's almost like the magnet has no weight to it. Look, it's just going. How deep is it over here? Wow! Oh my god. Bro, it won't even touch the bottom. It's, it's because the current is so strong. It's dragging it instead of letting it sink down to the bottom. Feel like it's dragging? It could be the resistance of the water. I really hope we get a nail. Just a nail. I'll be happy if we catch a nail. Or a bottle cap. Or a bottle cap? <laughs> yeah, we got nothing. We got nothing. But hey, this is expected. I want, I've been wanting to try this out for a very long time. And... Oh, we did get a nail! Oh my god, we actually got a nail. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Yo, this means good luck. You guys know me. When I find nails, look at this. A little tiny nail from Niagara Falls. This is so awesome. I'm a bit more excited than I should be, but for good reason, guys. Come on. Magnet fishing from Niagara Falls. Okay, we pull it in. We 
throw it in. Let's go, it's in there. Okay. Dragging, I can feel it dragging on the ground now. Come on, Niagara Falls, please give me something good. So the thing is, like, over time, people have probably dumped weapons in here, maybe bodies, maybe some type of, oh, what the hell did I just grab onto? I, I feel it, I feel it. I feel it, there's something there. But the problem is, like, when people dump stuff in the water, it just goes down, downstream, unless it gets stuck between a rock or something, which is gonna be like, next to impossible for me to actually get anything. Yeah, this magnet is floating like it's made of feathers. I wonder if I've got more nails. Any more nails? Nope, no more nails. Oh, you got a fence! I got a fence! <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just got this in Niagara Falls! <laughs> I think we should go to a different part of this area. Maybe up there, down that way, where it's less crazy. We might be able to catch something, but I do want to throw it in one more time. And hopefully we'll catch something here. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, right, here we go. Come on, Niagara Falls. This is kind of like scaring me. I feel like, like I might fall in the water. Oh, okay, it hit the bottom here. I feel like it grabbed onto something. Yeah, I feel. Nah, that's just. I don't know if it's the current. Oh, please, God. Please, God. Give me something good. Come on! Woo! It's so clean the water. No, we got nothing. We got nothing in that one. So, we're gonna be moving locations and maybe go up that way. We're not gonna go down that way to where the actual falls roll over because there's cops there and I don't wanna risk getting caught right now. I don't know what I'm doing is illegal, I doubt it, but we just don't wanna run the risk. I wanna make a video. I did drive all the way out here and I'm very happy to be here. So, let's move on and go to a different part of the waterfalls. So right there, as you guys can see in the area, we're still here on the falls. Look at all the little mini falls over there. Right there, there's a bridge and it looks like it's a bit calmer, the water underneath that. So we're gonna try dipping the magnet into that water there. If we get nothing, we're gonna move along. We're gonna keep trying until we find something good. So it doesn't look that deep here. You can kind of see the bottom, but hey, you never know. We might actually capture something. So let's go for it. I'm just gonna let it drag. I'm only going to do a couple attempts here on this bridge until we move more into where the waterfalls area is. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. I mean, you never know. It could be camouflaged. Uh, yeah, definitely nothing yeah. here. Oh, there's something metallic over there. I think it's a can though. Yeah, no. Nah. Probably the only video where I will never get into the water. <laughs> like, no thank you. I don't want to die today. You guys know I love to get in the water on certain occasions, but not today. So we got nothing, clearly it's too clean here. The tide does raise up sometimes and it floods this entire area. So let's move up down that way and eventually we're gonna make it to the actual drop point of the waterfalls and hopefully we can, I don't know, maybe the rope is long enough to get something, maybe not, but we'll give it a try. There's a bunch of cans with metallic items, but that's aluminum, it's not, it's not magnetic. Oh my God, yo, what the hell? Yo, duckies, wait, I gotta get this. Hopefully they don't attack them. <laughs> They're so cute though, oh my God. <laughs> Bro, those little ones are so cute. I know. This one's ready to attack. Oh, she's ready to fight. <laughs> she was ready to fight. Oh yeah. Oh my god. We just made it to this, I don't know where we are. It looks like some type of old power plant, but it's completely fenced off. I wanted to throw my magnet in here because you know people be throwing stuff in here. Like, take a look at this. Guaranteed people throw something here, but it's completely fenced off. And I don't know, man. Like, I would, my idea was to go through here, but there's a sign that says no trespassing. And you guys know me, the signs. God damn it. We made it to this other historic bridge. This was built in 1977, I think. But I can see in the water, there's nothing. There's no metallic items. You can pretty much see through it. So we're gonna keep going as we're walking upstream. 
There's more little falls up there and hopefully we have access to it. The problem is, is that there's fences everywhere. Hey, mister, can, can you just tell me where like I can find some metallic items in the water? You're, you're probably really good at this. Like you can tell me. Don't be afraid to tell me. I just want, okay. See that? That's that goose telling me to screw off, Mo. Now listen, I want to tell you something, okay? I just really want to know where all the magnets are. Just let me know where all the metal is. I just want to know, come on. <laughs> all right, so we found a new spot. We're all the way down here. I don't want to stay here too long because there's a cop down that way and I don't think we're allowed down here, but screw it. We got to live a little. We got to throw this magnet in the water. By the way, guys, follow me on TikTok. TikTok handles here. TikTok at Mosergi Official. We're about to hit 100,000 followers. I'm very excited about that. Let's get it there, guys. Link down below. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mosergi. Watch all my stories. I'm going to be doing a monthly giveaway. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's items. I don't know. But every month, I'm going to be picking somebody that's been frequently watching all my stories that I post on IG and I'm going to pick that person, random person every month. But I'm also going to be making sure that these guys have been liking my photos and my stories as well. All right, guys, here we go. First throw in on this area. So it's not as deep here. I can feel the bottom, which is good. So hopefully it drags on the rocks and gets something metallic. Come on, Magnet of Wonders. I would honestly love to go in the water here, but it's super illegal. Like, you'll literally do jail. Oh, I'm caught up. Okay, this is the rock. You'll literally get jail time if you go in this water because it's so dangerous. Oh, we got nothing on that throw. Let's go ahead and throw it in again. Yo, yo, that goose is stalking us. Oh, <laughs> it's literally telling its friends. <laughs> it's literally telling its friends. Oh, no. Yo, we're about to get jumped by a bunch of geese, bro. I'm telling you. That goose is mad because I was walking after it. Okay. See that? That's that goose telling me to screw off, Mo. Now listen, I want to tell you something, okay? I just really want to know where all the magnets are. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What do you want? What do you want? You know, it's literally snitching to the cops. It's telling the cops that we're here. Tell me what it is. It's called a, a no cost. Oh, 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 Did you get that on camera? I, I thought it was going to my head. <laughs> I kind of like jumped out of the way. <laughs> wow. Gone wrong in Niagara Falls. Holy sh. All right. We're going to throw the magnet back All in. Right. Away from the goose. What's your problem? Get out of here. <laughs> Yo, that was scary. I thought it was, I thought it was coming from yeah. my head. All right. Bring it back, back in. Hopefully we get something more. It could be just rocks. I don't know. Goose. This guy's giving goose. Oh, we got nothing on that bro. Let's move more along that way. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to get anything, but this adventure has been awesome. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's hard to get it far out here because look at those freaking like waves and falls, bro. That's crazy. Yeah. Here we go. Pulling it back in. I'm so overdressed for this today. Come on. Let's go. We got nothing. I'm gonna do one more. Actually, maybe like 20 more. But we're not gonna put them all on camera. So, as I was throwing my magnet in, a cop drove by. I don't know if he's seen me, because there may be a little sign behind us that says, don't come down here, but... I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't see any sign. I'm just gonna pull this and drag it and see if we get something. I feel like I may have gotten something. Oh, I did get something. I got something. I actually got something. I'm trying to drag it very cautiously so it doesn't fall off. Oh, yes, yes, baby. Yes. What the f is that? What did you get? Oh my god, actually. <gasps> it's a knife. Look. Look at that. Oh, wow. A rusty knife. Awesome. Wow. Gerber. I seen that cop. I'm like worried that cop's gonna come down here and see me with a knife. Guys, we've just found a rusty knife in Niagara Falls. Possibly a murder weapon. So cool.
You can tell this thing's been in here for a little while. Look at it, it's covered in rust. I wonder if it works. I mean, it did, yeah, it does work. Look at that. It's stiff. Damn, what should we do with it? Should we throw it out? Yeah, I think so. I almost wonder if this is like a possible murder weapon. I'm happy that we found one thing. I mean, a knife isn't that big of a deal. Somebody could have used it though. Stabbed someone, dumped it in the water. It may have like washed down from God knows where. Oh, my fingerprints are on it now. Oh, I just I just realized that. Uh oh. Oh, great. I'm gonna throw it back in the river. <laughs> no, no. I'm gonna keep this. I wanna keep it. It's rusty. Maybe I can clean it and fix it up. Like, I have to keep this. You know why? Right. My first ever find in Niagara Falls. Like, you know what I mean? Second. You found the nail first. Oh, the nail. But, oh, yeah. What happened to that nail? <laughs> I don't know. We lost that nail. Shit. We back in the water. <laughs> but this is monumental. Like, I have to frame this. A knife that I found in Niagara Falls. Isn't that crazy? Look at that, you guys. It's a gerber knife. I don't know. Is it just me or is the water starting to rise? Yeah, I think it's coming in a little bit. Let's get the f*** out of here. Yeah. That's probably why we're not supposed to be down here. Yeah. Alright guys, we finished magnet fishing, but I wanted to show you guys something super rare. Something that not too many people ever get to experience here in Canada at Niagara Falls. So because of this quarantine, there's absolutely nobody here. It's completely dead. It's like a tourist zone. I mean, there's a couple of people running by here and there, a couple of cars coming and going. But usually during this time of the year, especially now because it's a bit warmer out, it's crawling with people. It's crawling with bus loads of tourists from all around the world. And you can't even walk properly out here. So I want to show you guys how empty this place is. Starting with Clifton Hill, where all the really cool attractions are. It's like a freaking ghost town. Let's go take a look at it right now. Not too sure if any of y'all have ever seen the falls from this point of view. I would have loved to throw my magnet in here, but you can see how raging the water is, how strong it is. It would have probably dragged me away and not just the magnet. Super scary though. I would. You think I could have pulled it off? I would eventually love to get to that island over there and do an overnight challenge on that island, but obviously nobody, you, you probably need a helicopter to get you over there. So that ship over there, the one that's halfway submerged in the water, the real story behind that ship is that there were two people on that ship and there is, it's just a boat, it's not even a ship, it's just a, a big boat made of metal. And they somehow went off course, ended up in the waterfalls. Their life was in danger because they literally almost went down the waterfall. So what one of the crew members did, he acted really fast. He opened up all the doors and all the basically secret compartments of the ship, forcing it to take on water and basically drowning. And what that allowed him to do is to get stuck in the rocks because when it was floating, it was just going downstream. And because of that dude's quick thinking, they were able to get rescued from that ship. So as you guys can see, they've boarded up and closed off all the shops that used to be here. This is usually like the welcome center where tourists can go to and they can explore and buy stuff and go to the bathroom. And those trains up there, they take you up to your hotels. Those are where all the hotels are. But now everything's closed off because of the coronavirus. And you know, it's like a ghost town now. You can definitely feel the intensity of the water from over here. Yeah. My lens is getting hit with like mist. Cause, you got, Cause all that is mist. That's everything you guys see, that's overspray. Damn. Imagine just rolling through that. People have actually done that. People have jumped in barrels and their own makeshift boats or survival boats, if you will, and they've jumped off the, the, the waterfall. There's only like two people that have ever survived it, and I think one of them was a, a woman. But anybody else that attempted this, it was like a, a thing they used to do back in the day, attempt to jump off the waterfalls, but a lot of people died because of it. What really baffles me is, is that this waterfall has been here for such a long time, I don't know how many years, probably thousands and thousands of years, flowing with so many gallons of water. Where is all this water coming from? Like, where is it coming from? Where is it going? Like, will it ever run out of water? That's what I want to know. Like, it's crazy. Guys, look at how insane this is. Holy moly. I'm getting wet just standing here. For all you dirty minded people, not wet that way. But li literally, I'm getting wet just standing here. My, my screen's getting all foggy because of all the mist. For those of you that don't know this, that's the Buffalo side, the American side of, you know, we got Canada, we got USA. I've been trying to get into the USA for like almost a month now, but because we're on lockdown, they're not letting anybody get in. Like we can't get into the USA and Americans can't get into Canada, which sucks. And I've been really dying to go film with my boy CJ and Omar 
and it just unfortunately like literally like I could probably raft take a raft but I'll probably get caught and get in a lot of trouble I'm just waiting on this stupid lockdown to be over with so I can finally cross back into the US and you can give you guys some epic videos as much as I would have loved to do magnet fishing over here as you guys can see like right near the falls it's almost impossible I need a rope that is like maybe 300 feet long and there's no way in hell it's gonna happen. There's like a, a street down there and we can't actually legally go down there. Oh my God, is that an eagle? Holy shit, that's a vulture. So I was right, those are vultures guys. Look at those. Damn, those things are mean looking. So we are making it near Clifton Hill where the most of the tourist attractions are of this place and I wanna show you guys how empty it is. Right now, usually, usually in this area here, would be thousands of thousands of people just walking. You almost can't even like take a photo here by yourself and now it's just, Angelo, myself, a homeless guy over there, and a couple over there that just keep making out or something. I don't know. But look at how busy. I'm going to show you guys a picture of how usually it would look like. And now look at how it looks like. Isn't this insane? It is unreal how empty it is over here. This is usually like the most busiest part of Niagara Falls. Everybody trying to ride the zip lines, get on the ferries, because here you can pay to get on the ferries and they take you under or near the falls, which I've been on before. But this is just unreal. The amount of people, or the amount of emptiness that there is here is crazy. So this is a very, very rare sight right here. This is usually crawling with thousands and thousands of people because that's where all the attractions are. Like all the arcades and the museums and the crazy places that people go to. And now there's nobody here. There's this really weird guy and he's making a vlog and he's copying me. Look at him. What the hell? This is my Niagara Falls. It's all mine. Piece of shit. It literally feels like a ghost town over here. Yo, you will never find this place this empty. Oh my gosh. Like not a car, not a soul, nobody. Just Angelo and I. It feels like a ghost town right now. This is so crazy. I usually go to this place and we usually go to the Guinness World Records Museum, but now it's just empty. It's like abandoned. My God, it really does feel like a ghost town here. This is so crazy. Like if you've never been to this area, you might not know why I'm like kind of like flabbergasted about this. It's because like usually here is thousands and thousands of people and it usually smells like sweat and like from all the people that are here. And like literally now it's just, okay. Okay, there's a, a couple of cars now, so that's all right. But usually it's packed. It's so empty here that this guy's kind of like, hey man, what am I supposed to do here? I'm kind of bored kind of freaked out too dude this is freaking crazy I feel like I'm on an abandoned adventure right now just just us literally just us walking around here some cars are coming and going but look at this guys usually you would never be able to just stand around here it's just way too busy before I end off this video I wanted to show you guys this area here this is a very very popular area for photography by professional photographers people that want to do weddings and look at it it looks completely abandoned now this is so cool Wow, now isn't this beautiful? We're here all by ourselves, just Angelo and I. Not a single soul walking around. This is kind of like cool, because if this virus wasn't here and this area wasn't on lockdown, I mean not area, but like the world wasn't on quarantine or lockdown, we would not have this opportunity to see this place empty. All right, sergeants, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. YouTube is letting me know that you guys are not subscribing. Like literally most of my views or 40% of my views are coming from people that are not making accounts and subscribing. It's free to make an account. Subscribe to this channel, smash the like button, follow me on Instagram, link is down below and come check out my TikTok. Help me get it to 100K really soon. I really want to get this TikTok going to 100K. I will be doing a monthly giveaway every month from now on on Instagram and maybe even TikTok. I don't know. We'll see. But definitely on Instagram, all you have to do is like all my recents and watch all my stories. So if you're going to win something, I'm going to actually be going through my stories because Instagram lets me know who's in, you know viewing my stories. If I notice that you've been consecutively viewing my stories for like the entire month, then I'm gonna be picking a random person from my stories on Instagram at Mosargy to win either money or to win a gift, um, something of my choosing. So it is gonna be random, but it's also gonna be random to the person that is, you can see my Instagram handle here and you can see my TikTok handle here. Love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you watched it all the way till the end, let me know in the comments below. Be you, do you stay positive and just live a little.